Okay, children, welcome to day 32 of the ICT Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the skills bubbling over while we can't be in school. Um, please be sat with an adult. Uh, please have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. And uh, please call out and join in and love your mistakes. And also, please, could you have, could you ask an adult, please, if you could have a few 1Ps, a few 2Ps, a few 5Ps, and a few 10Ps. We could just do with a few of those coins um, for making small amounts. Okay. So pause the video while you get all those things together. Okay, here we go, my lovelies. Right, so we're going to start with counting in twos. Off we go, counting in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Okay, twenty. The value of that is twenty-four p. Okay, let's turn that off clear that one I'm just gonna make a little mm noise and you're gonna count in twos and you have to know how much there is all together when I stop are you ready here we go mm. hmm 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 how much is there here let's have a look I'm just going to link that up to something else I've got two and I've got it one time two times three times four times I just want to remind you two times four that's two four six Eight. Did you say eight? Good job, guys. That's eight p. Fantastic, eight p. Right. Okay. Let's right, go again. So I'm just going to go, mm, and you're going to count in two. So ready? Here we go. Two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so rubbish. Hmm. 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 How much is that? How much is there here? I'm just going to check how many coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're gonna have a, have a we're gonna link that to something else we know. It's two times seven. Seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Did you get fourteen p? Good job, guys. If somebody said to me, I, I need 14p to pay for, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Barrett, that costs 14p, and I'd only got two pence coins in my pocket, I wouldn't count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I would just think, oh, 2 times 7 is 14, and I'd give them 7 coins without counting the value. Okay, here's the next one. Uh, last one of the twos. I say, join in, guys, you ready? I I'm going to go, mm, and you're going to say, you're going to count in twos. Hmm. How much is there here? I'm just going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve two pence coins. Twelve two pence coins. Let's go see on here. I know you're thinking, well, why is he doing that? I don't need him to do that. I know, I, I'm just being teachery and trying to link two ideas. Okay, 12 times 2. If you knew what 2 times, sorry, 2 times 12 was, you would know it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 P. Are you ready? If this says 24 P, high five the person next to you. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3. Yay, high five. Good job, guys. Okay, now I'm going to count in fives. Okay, everybody join in. Five. I'm gonna go, I might go up this time. Five. I just pile it up in like coins. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Fifty-five. Sixty. And I'm gonna stop there. Okay, it's clear. Okay, right. Uh, you. I'm gonna go. Mm, and you're going to count in fives. Off we go. Oh, <laughs> before I do that, better switch these off. Don't forget, like I did yesterday. How much is there here? Okay, is that right? Okay, let's just go and link that to other ideas we've been learning. How, how many times did I have it? One, two, three, four, five. I had five times five. Five, five times. There's five, and we've got it one, two, three, four, five times. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25. That looks like a square, doesn't it? Hmm, interesting. 25. If you said 25, give yourself a high five. Yes. So awesome. Okay, counting in fives again. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> How much is there here? I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine five pences. Now, again, linking it to my times table knowledge, five pence times nine, I might know, is... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45p. Have a look. Is that 40? If this is 45p, give yourself a high five. Turn to the person next to you say, Oh, you're awesome. Oh, you're awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, now, hmm, if I went shopping and I bought, let's have a think, I wanted to buy um, a, a remote control car. And it was incredibly cheap. They had a sale on. And it costs um, 15p. But all I'd got in my pocket was a pile of fives. How many fives would I use? If I needed to make 15p, but I got fives in my pocket, how many fives would you use? You might want to count in fives. Yeah, 15p, you need five, ten. 15, you need three five pence coins, and again, sorry, five times three, five, ten, fifteen. That would give you fifteen pence. These times tables are so useful for when you're dealing with money, when you're shopping. You just, I don't, I don't sit there and count five, ten, fifteen. I think, oh, I just need three coins, and that'll make fifteen, just because I know my five times table. Okay. Then let's do what we did yesterday and start at a number. Okay, well, how much have we got here? <laughs> oh, I'm so rubbish. Yes, we've got 9p. I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay, now, uh, okay, just one second. Okay, we're going to start from 9p. Okay, I'll go back to where we were a minute, but we're going to be adding 10 each time. Okay. I'm going to be adding 10 each time. So uh, I'm starting at 9p, but then I'm adding 10s afterwards. Are you ready? So I'll leave this number on. We're at 9p. Now, let me just see if we can remember. Let's have a look. Let's clear all. It goes 9, and then what's the next number after 9? 19. Fantastic. That's the one that always catches people out. Okay. 9, 19, 29. 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, 99. And I'm just going to go back over here. 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, 99, 109. What's going to, ha what's going to happen when we get to 109? Well, it, the, it still says 109, but it means one pound and nine pence. One zero nine, 109 pence is one pound and nine pence. Oh, it's quite tricky, isn't it? But if I, with pounds, if um, that the value of that is a pound, if I put 100 of these on, um, it would still equal a pound. It'd be the same thing. Okay, right, that's enough of that. Let's go and have a look at something else. Right, so uh, I've got 10p up here. Sorry, I can't put the p's. Uh, I've got 10p up here. Maybe I'll clear that and just put a 10p up here. I've got 10p up here. I've got 4p over here. What have I got in this one? How much is that in? would be in that one? That's the whole, that's the part. How much is in here? Change partner. Yes, 6p. Can you make 6p with the coins you've got in front of you? How would you make 6p? Yeah, there's a few ways you could do it, isn't there? Hmm, I'm going to do it with... I might do it with a 5 and a 1. That would make 6p. Or... 2, 4, 6. That would work. Or... 2, 4... Five, six. So that's the one wonderful thing about coins. You can make so many different values. Okay. If I've got 13p up here, 13, and in this one I've got 6p, 
what's over here? You might want to pause the video and think about that one for a minute. Pause the video. Yes, now, do you know what I'm dead is did in my head? I went, I jumped from six to 10, which is and six, let's do some tricks, that's four. And then I thought about the, th then I've got the three left to add. So that's seven. So over here would be seven P, five, six, seven. That would be seven P. Good job if you got that. That was a tricky one, that one, wasn't it? That was a year two-y one, that one. Well done if you got that one. Uh, okay, next one. If up here I've got this much money, how much have I got here? Yes, 19p. If I've got 19p up there, okay, and over here I've got 11p, how much is in this one? Yes, uh, um, you could have counted on from 11 till you get to 19, or you could have thought, uh, I'm starting at 1, and I'm getting to 9, I'm counting on to 9, that'll be 8, so that's 8p over there, well done guys, that's quite year 2 isn't it, sorry, no year 1s, that was quite tricky, let's do something uh, a little more com comfortable for the year 1s, we're going to play pay for it, okay, uh, we're going to start by paying um, totals up You're to 15p. You're the customer. You have to scan the items and pay for it with the right money. Okay, well, hamster ball. Okay. Can you uh, pause the video? How would you pay 9p with your coins? Okay, I think I would use a 5 because that's the biggest coin that's close to 9 but hasn't gone past it. And then I go, I think about 4. Then 5 and 4 make 9. Let's check that. Thank you. Oh, some flour. It's hard to find. 8p. How would you pay 8p? Pause the video, make 8p with your coins. Yes, I think I, uh, I, don't, I don't want to use a 10, that would be too much. Uh, I'm going to use 5 and then 6, 7, 8. 5 and 3 make 8. I know that from my number facts. Uh, did you, how, did you, how did you do it? Oh, you did it a different way. You could have done it like this. Yes, I see your point. You could have gone 2, 4, six, eight, because you just knew counting in twos. Eight is in counting in twos, that's a good idea. Okay, all loaf of bread. 11p, pause the video, how would you make 11p? Yeah, you could do it with a 10 and a one, that makes 11, or you could do it with two fives to make the 10, and then a 1p, okay? So uh, 11p pays for that, and the value of that is 11p. That's a fair swap. Uh, it's, oh, why did I scan it? Check. Okay, let's do the bag of sugar. Now, okay, that if it's easy, find a different way. Don't, uh, let's pretend you haven't got a 10p coin in your pocket. How could you make uh, 10p for that one kilogram bag of sugar? How could you make 10p but without a 10p coin? Yeah, I'm going to do it with twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That makes 10p. Okay. See if that's right. That is right. Now, oh, you look? How cool. Okay, before we go on to something tricky for the year twos, I'm going to show you another game. Well, this is called the Custom Car Garage. Garage, I sound posh. Custom Car Garage. <laughs> right, now, uh, I'm going to try level one, and it says, making totals with coins, turn your car into a customised supercar. First, select the part you need, read the price, use the on-screen coins to make that total. File, finally, admire your cool car. So I'm going to try the level one version first. So you get a blank car, and you have to decide what things you're going to change. I, now colours are free, so I'm just going to choose my colour first of all. I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go rainbow. Nice. And then I'm going to choose something for my uh, my bonnet. Which bonnet would I like? Hmm, I like the scoop. Supercharger's cool. I'm going to go scoop. How much is it? Oh, 10p. 
I want to pay 10p for the scoop. And it says, please pay here. So you drag the money on that you need to make to pay the 10p. And when you're happy, you've got the right amount to make that value. You press check and then it goes on. So now I'm going to try uh, decals. Um, that's like the transfer stickers. Which one do we fancy? Oh, I, do not, I like the look of the zebra stripes. How much is zebra? 8p? Zebra stripes are 8p. How could I pay 8p? What could I do? Okay, I'll do that. A five, a two, and a one. Five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Ooh, groovy. Then I'm going to try the front grill. That's like the bit of the front. Oh, which one to choose? I'm going to go with the rockets. Rockets are 6p. How could I pay 6p? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll just give you a minute. Sorry. How could you pay 6p? Okay, two, four, six. Oh, that looks groovy. That kind of matches the stripes, doesn't it? Wheels, what sort of wheels am I gonna have? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have those off-road wheels, I think. I like them, off-road wheels. How much are they? 12p. How could I pay 12p? Okay, a 10 and a two, sounds good. Look at that. Rear wing, anybody? Anybody? I've got to have a rear wing, I reckon. Which rear wing do I fancy? Oh, I think I fancy that one. Okay, 3p. Oh, I can manage that one. It's nice and easy. 3p. There we go. Look at that. Mean machine. Fantastic. Right. And then if you want to go again, you just press menu and you can choose a harder level. So year ones, that's what I'd recommend for you to have a go at today. Uh, year ones, um, we're going to come to a stop there and because I'm going to make it a bit harder for year twos now. So year ones, your treat today is you get a lever on the stairs and you pull the lever and all the stairs fold down into a slide. So you can jump on the, on the stairs and go whoosh, downstairs. Awesome, guys. Good job. See you year ones next time. Year twos, hang on. Year ones, you're very welcome to stay and watch if you want. Okay, now. Okay, we're going to look at a word problem now. Uh, so I'm uh, going shopping and uh, cars are five pence each and spaceships are four pence each. Megan bought three cars and two spaceships. How much did she spend? Now, the thing with word problems is it's always, there's often a tricky bit in there or a trick in there that to catch you out. It, you really need to read it again. So shout at me, shout, read it again. Read it again. Cars are five pence each. Spaceships are four pence each. Megan bought three cars and two spaceships. How much did she spend? Okay, I've got a better idea now. I can see that there's lots of cars and lots of spaceships. So now what I need to do is pick out the maths. So uh, you could underline it, but I've got a highlighter pen. So I'm going to highlight the bits that look important. The 5p and the 4p look important. What else? You tell me what else. Okay, the three cars. That looks important. Good job. What else? How much? Yeah, that's the question. How much? And oh yeah, and two spaceships. Okay. Now, one thing you can do when you're um, trying to um, solve a word problem is draw a picture. And people feel embarrassed about drawing a picture. It's fine. You just got to make it quick and and simple. So, uh, three cars. So here we go. I'm going to draw my car. That's going to be my symbol for a car. And how many of them are going to draw? Three. Okay. And then how many spaceships? Okay, two spaceships. So that this is going to be my symbol for a spaceship. How many of them? Two. Okay. Now, uh, how much are cars each? Okay, 5p. And now the maths is coming to me. So that's 5p. That's 5p. That's 5p. Sorry about not writing in the box properly and that's 4p and that's 4p okay and i can see now because i need to work out all together 
I'm going to be adding these things together. So, how much is 5 add 5 add 5? 5 times 3, yeah, 15p. How much is 4 add 4 or double 4? How much is double 4? Yeah, 8p. Oops, I like to remember the p because it makes me remember it at the end. Now, uh, and the final step, I've got to add 15, add 8. Uh, now, a few ways you could do this. You could, um, you could, uh, uh, one way you could do it is use your ruler, put your pencil on the 15 and count on 8. Another way is you could uh, put 15 on a little line and draw eight jumps one two three four five six seven eight oops and then count 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 that tells me the answer is 23p okay we're also going to look at it as a bar model now i, I know you think well we've solved it now what on earth are we doing any more with it for well i just want to see you to see it in different ways okay because the meaning often um seeing maths done the same thing done in different ways is very reassuring so we're going to have a look at our bar model now uh, let's have a look before i do that it was uh, three cars and two spaceships okay so it was three cars and two spaceships and i'm going to make the spaceships be a different color okay how much were the cars each Cars were five pence each. Cars were five pence each. I'll put that's five pence. And there's three of them. So five pence had five pence had five pence. How much were spaceships? How much were spaceships? Spaceships were four pence each. So and we bought two spaceships, four pence add four pence. Okay, and it's asking how much all together. So I'll put a curly braces around that. That's what that's what we're asking. That's what we need to find out. Okay, now uh, bar models don't um, do the maths for you, but they help you to find what maths to do. And now I can see that um, that five add five add five needs to be done, and that four add four needs to be done. So uh, five add five add five. We've said is fifteen. 4 add 4, we said was 8. And you can use your ruler and um, count on from 15 if you want. Or you can put 15 on a little line and draw 8 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then you can count on 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And the answer is 23. And don't forget to write the answer. People, Lots of people forget to write the answer at the end. Okay. I'm sorry I did that in two ways, but um, and I know it took a long time, but um, I just wanted you to see the same thing done in different ways, just to make us, um, so that we can see that there are different choices about how we do it. People like different ways of doing things. Okay, right. Uh, so, year twos. If you fancy doing some more after this, uh, please have a look at Custom Car Garage. Um, gosh, <laughs> garage, custom car garage, uh, and have a go at level three or level four totals for me. Level three or level four totals. Uh, super job, guys. So you win the lever to make your stairs into a slide. Uh, have a super day. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.